Welcome. My name is Sean O'Neill. I'm the Field Operations Manager at Hunter Industries. I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of the pilot system that we are currently offering as our golf control system. When you first open the program, you will notice that there is a very uh, high intensity map that shows all the sprinklers on the golf course. This is provided to you from Hunter Industries. As we go into the command center of the pilot, this is where the end user will program what he requires for the uh, nightly irrigation. You have in this area right here, different adjustments that the superintendent can create. He can have up to 16 of those across the top. These will be things that he does the most commonly as an irrigation practice. Once we check on one of these colored boxes, say I want to pick 20 minutes, then I can just come over to the column of which I would like to apply that 20 minutes. I then click on that column, and then all of my sprinklers will change to that runtime. Once I am done creating all the changes that I would like to see for tonight's irrigation, we come over to the processing tab. This is where the, the software will take and process all of the irrigation commands based on the hydraulics on the golf course. So we pick a start time, say for example, 10 p.m., or I could change it to 9 p.m. if I'd like. We save that, and then I click on this by start time button, and now the computer is generating a schedule based on the hydraulics and the piping network within the golf course. Once it's done, it's fairly quick. This is a large golf course. You can then look at your flow graph for all the different areas. Each box on this graph represents a sprinkler. These are the colors of the sprinkler groups that they're going to be operating. So we can quickly look across our flow graph to see where our irrigation is going to occur. On this list, this is the list of sprinklers in a tabular formula format that you will be able to look at and view before you send them to the controller. So as I scroll down, you will see this gives me all the start times and end times and how long they're going to run for each individual sprinkler. If you are satisfied with this, then you will save for download. Pilot allows you to create up to a three-day schedule. So you either have day one, day two, or day three. You can save them individually. I'm going to save this as day one. So I say save now. All of my sprinkler events will now go into a buffer. The system will still not operate at this point because I have not sent these commands to the satellite. So now that the events have been stored into a buffer, I can now say send my events, and then they will automatically send down to the controllers. So here we go, we're communicating. All of that schedule that you saw on those charts is now being transmitted down to the satellite. Once we're done, we can come back to the command center. If we would like to make a, a change for day two, then I can make that change, process it, and then save it as day two. You can also, from this uh, command center, you can run your sprinklers manually. So if we switch to a manual mode, we can pick on a, a group of sprinklers or an individual sprinkler. So if I say run this sprinkler, I can say just you, or I can say set the whole group, and then therefore it will pop populate a number for that group. Again, when I'm done doing all the manual options that I would like, I go back to the processing, and now I'm switched to manual mode. So if I process by start time here, this will only save for manual events. This is a one-time one event. event. Once this has been irrigated, these will no longer exist. There is also the ability to individually control the, the uh, satellites from what we call FCP scheduling. So we can create manual programs within the software and then send those to the controller also. We could create blocks. The satellite has the ability to group together up to 10 valve head sprinklers. These will operate simultaneously if you put them into a block. Very easy to create a block. You just unlock the screen, go to block number one, click on the down arrow, and then you just click on the members and they will populate in the line for you. So when I ask for these sprinklers to run in block one, they will come on simultaneously. Under your stations, this is where you would put what kind of sprinkler you're using and what kind of flow is available. So if I click on this little plus, 
I can see here that all these sprinklers have been assigned to these different stations. The sprinklers are created under another area, which we call system setup. This is under a thing called pick lists. In pick lists, these are adjustments that we can apply to the irrigation schedule so that we can have different types of adjustments based on the environment or on the uh, sprinkler type or whatever. So here we have plants, here we have soils, here we have environment, here we have a station adjusts. Here is where we also enter what size of pipes are on the golf course. But here's my head types. To enter a new head type, basically you would come over to this catalog list, click on the sprinkler that you would like to apply, then click on the nozzle size and the pressure that you're going to operate. Once you click on that, it adds it to the list. As you can see, I just added that new sprinkler. Under sprinklers, we're going to determine where these sprinklers are used. So because I picked under the, under the sprinkler head, I picked the 885 but I could be using that in several different places on the golf course. So I can actually identify that by this category here. We also have an option called hard start. If you would like your greens or your tees to start at a specific time, then you can create what we call a hard start and then apply that to the, group, to the management group. Hydraulics, very simple to set up. You have a water source. The values in this column right here are what we define as our soft start. So that way it ramps up your pumps so that they don't water hammer and create problems with your pipes. Your hydraulic tree is very easily created because when we created the pick lists of the pipes and the sprinklers, they now come into play when we create the hydraulic tree. So if I click on this piece of pipe right here, I can click on this little gear cog, I can add a pipe, and then here is the choices that I created in my pick list. So it's very quick to be able to put your hydraulic tree together. Thank you very much. Thank you for visiting the Hunter booth. Hope you have a great day.